Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It is time for Design Time. Joining us from Tri-City Furniture is Kathy Kilborn. Kathy, good to see you. Good morning. It's good to see you. Good morning, Kathy. Okay, today we're talking about reclining chairs and finding the right size. So, Kathy, are recliners made in different sizes? Absolutely. Many people have had a chair and they say, it's just the most uncomfortable thing. It, it's my feet dangle. I don't have any back support. It pushes my head forward. Because he did not realize that chairs can be made large, but they can also be quite small if you have a shorter leg and upper body. So it's really important to find the chair that actually fits you. And what should someone look for to find the right chair that fits them? I know try before you buy, that's always a good one too, to try it out. Yes, well the main thing, and it's probably women tend to have more of the issue. More of the chairs are made for five foot eight and taller. Mm. So when you're only five foot two, you're probably going to find that that chair just isn't going to fit. And trying to have a six foot, six foot tall person fit into a chair for a five foot person, it really is going to be be difficult like buying one pair of shoes and trying to fit the whole family so if you really want something that fits you you need to consider height off the floor the depth of the seat because that's what gives us the lower back support and then the height of the back because it needs to support our neck and not push on our head and when we're shorter in a large chair it's always going to push on us a little bit more and that's not good for our back. Oh, I didn't know there were so many variables when buying. That is very important now that you're saying that. Okay, so who should consider power features? I know that some chairs have this power feature. The power has become really important in typically high leg chairs because a lot of those were a pushback where you put to push down the arm and you had to push back. Many women, again, could not do that. They just didn't have the strength in their arm, whereas men could pretty much easily do that. So power is a nice feature because I can move my legs up just a little. I can lay it all the way back, and it doesn't move unless I move the buttons. So that's important, as well as a person who might want to sleep in it. Because recliners are typically made for a balance, system so wherever the weight is men typically have broader shoulders and can hold a chair back really quite easily whereas women we don't have as much muscle up there and the chairs tend to sit up so again power might be that good option to allow us to lean it back and not have to try to hold it in place and Kathy how do we know the chair that we buying that we're buying is a, is a higher quality chair. The quality again is in the components and it has to do with the foams, with the fabrics, with the kind of mechanism it is, how, how heavy a quality if you're using a motor. So all of those components are really important and I'm finding that the imports are not going to give you that quality. And even some of the big names that you're aware of that you might just think well of course it's made here they're assembling it here but they're bringing all the parts in and putting it together so your quality is just not in it because they're imported components the quality of the fabric or the density of the foam so People say, well, I had my recliner for 20 years and it held up perfect. I'm going to replace it. We'll realize what you bought 20 years ago is not the same product. There's been a lot of evolution of changes with where it's made, how it's made, and that then entails now it maybe only lasts a couple of years and people are running into problems. The other big 
issue is, is that if it's imported, there are no parts here. And that becomes a real big problem. They may have a warranty on it, but if you can't get the part, the warranty is out the window. Oh, that's for sure. Okay, well, thank you for the great information again, Kathy. We appreciate it. Great. The, you know, American Made is not that much more money, so make sure to consider the quality before you buy. Make sure high quality chairs. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for watching this edition of Design Time.